As 2017 closes, most citizens and residents are breathing a sigh of relief that this year is over. Unfortunately, 2017 was an historic year, but for some of the worst reasons. Many of us are all too happy to shed the economic, social, and emotional stress that we have endured at the hand of the ABLP administration. Many of us are uneasy about the increase in crime, economic instability, erosion of the social safety net, and the neglect of our Barbudan brothers and sisters since the passage of Hurricane Irma almost four months ago. Brought to their knees by the viciousness of Hurricane Irma, Barbudans have since had to endure, by the Prime Minister's own admission, deracination, discrimination, impoverishment, neglect, abuse, eviction, and now disinheritance by Gaston Brown and his complicit cabinet. The land grab that government continues to orchestrate, despite local outrage and international disapproval, is nothing short of a scabby sore on the face of our country. But Antiguans and Barbudans have shown strength and resilience in 2017, and we remain proud, even as the value of our, of our citizenship has been degraded after a number of dubious approvals undermine the integrity of the Citizenship by Investment program, leading to the termination of our treasured visa-free access to Canada. As if these international challenges were not enough to wound our national pride and crush our spirits, citizens and residents are still struggling to come to terms with the 21 murders in 2017, a record number for our peaceful nation. The UPP has developed an innovative 10-point security and crime-fighting plan that integrates community policing technology, and international best practices. On the economic front, things in Antigua and Barbuda are also very bleak. In the days leading up to Christmas, workers from the National Housing and Urban Development Company took industrial action, protesting their wages and work conditions. The entire project has been a fiasco and exemplifies the way the Antigua Labour Party does business. Some 1,300 days after the Prime Minister took office, the 500 Homes in 500 Days program, his vaunted flagship, is still on dry dock. Instead of admitting to the failure of this program, the Prime Minister continues to exploit these construction workers who strive to provide for their families. As far as our tourism industry is concerned, many feel that the industry is dead. Although we witnessed an increase in the number of cruise calls following the devastation in some of our neighboring islands, there has been a sharp decline in both stay-over visitor arrivals and visitor spend in 2017. Sadly, our economy is in the doldrums and all around people are feeling the financial squeeze. Social security is treading water and loans from international lenders and bills from local vendors cannot be paid. Meanwhile, the unincorporated business tax is killing entrepreneurship at a time when youth unemployment is at a morbid rate of 35%. Government continues to extract too much from taxpayers at the pump, given the price of oil on the world market. But the UPP has been hard at work. We have taken the time to listen to the people we have heard your concerns and we have listened to your suggestions. We have done the research and have reviewed international best practices and we are ready to redeem Antigua and Barbuda and we will restore pride and prosperity when we form the government again. That is the hope we represent for 2018 and the United Progressive Party is ready for governance. As political leader, I am proud to lead the dynamic team that will deploy talents. Our collaborative platform for restoration, T-A-L-E-N-T-S. My diverse team of academics, business people, 
farmers, lawyers, economists, and professionals have devised strategies for moving Antigua and Barbuda from its knees to its feet. And we are prepared to work with both homegrown and international investors on what is best for those who call this country home. We are investing in our people, all of our people, not just some, because we believe everybody must eat. Under a UPP administration, we say everybody must nyam. And using the platform of talents, tourism, agriculture and agro-processing, land use, housing and the environment, education, national security and safety, technology and social development, including sports, the arts and the promotion of community councils we will empower locals to take advantage of international opportunities. Just briefly, I will highlight just a few of our plans in terms of job creation. Firstly, a US $300 million new hotel project focused on sustainable luxury will generate 1,500 direct and indirect jobs. This investment will reflect new trends in green hospitality as reflected in the United Nations Declaration of 2017, the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. I can assure you that the agreement will be finalized and signed shortly after the UPP takes office. And the UPP will repeal the job-killing unincorporated business tax, the UBT, and there will be no reintroduction of personal income tax. For our farmers, we will ensure that those with 10 or more acres of land under active production will be eligible to receive land leases of up to 25 years, enabling them to access loans to expand their businesses. Under our exciting enterprise assistance program, we will allocate seven million EC dollars worth of grants annually to areas targeted for growth and to establish stronger tourism linkages. This will include products and experiences that center on our brand of Sea Island cotton, agro-processing and fisheries, culture and fine arts industries, including tourism-oriented startups, especially in Barbuda. Under the auspices of the Antiguan Barbuda Investment Authority, we will create the Young Entrepreneurs Setup Program to provide free business training, assistance with formulating business plans, and to help source funding, as well as government credit guarantees. The old parliament building will be refurbished to accommodate this flagship YES program. Within our education empowerment zone in the Coolidge area, a 1.5 square mile area of accredited academic institutions, we will introduce a new faculty of avionics and aviation engineering. In fact, the aviation sector will be developed with Antigua serving as a regional center. My dear people, it begins with growing the economy and getting it back on track. If we can get the economy right, we will get Antigua and Barbuda on the right track. We will enable the creation of new and well-paid jobs that will employ school leavers and make workers less dependent upon government and the Barbuda Council. We will create opportunities for self-employment and for employment in the private sector. This will also allow us to improve the salaries and the standard of living of thousands of civil servants. The good news is the next UPP government will oversee a reduction in the cost of fuel at the pump, reflecting the price of crude oil on the international market. We plan to effect this within the first two weeks of assuming office. The fuel variation charge will also be pegged 
to international market rates, allowing your APUA bill to be lowered whenever those international rates fall. The United Progressive Party will not leave our retirees behind either. We have programs to make life more comfortable, more stimulating and more inclusive for those who have earned the gold in their golden years, as well as plans for social development and improving the quality of life of all persons living on these islands. For example, we will renovate and retrofit the old Halberton Hospital, creating a modern senior citizen centre and offering facilities such as media rooms, games rooms, a fitness centre and chapel and activities that include choir, dancing and gardening. Within our first term, we will build a modern centre for the performing arts, allowing for the development and showcasing of local and visiting talent. And all bona fide citizenship applications will be processed within six months. That will become our policy and we will do whatever it takes to implement it. Government services will be brought closer to customers. The APUA, the MBS, social security payments, all will be made online and in convenient locations. Two areas have already been identified for offices in Bolands and in Liberta, and we are currently evaluating two other sites on the eastern side of the island. The UPP has plans, realistic plans, doable plans, phased plans to realize your dreams. It will require hard work and sacrifice, vision and commitment, not only by those you elect to serve, but by all of us, citizens, residents of Antigua and Barbuda. 2017 has now dipped below the horizon and 2018 is rising in the eastern skies. And so, on behalf of the executive and members of our beloved party, I am pleased to wish you all a happy new year, God's grace and mercy, and his continued hand of protection on all of us. God bless Antigua and Barbuda.